Hey, what's going on guys? I figure it's been a while since the last video, so I thought I'd make an update. Um, the last time I updated it was the beginning of January. Now it's the beginning of June, so it's been like five months. Between the five months, I've been a really bad owner again. Did not have time to care of the tank at all. The most I've done is just like adding top off water maybe every, what, three, four days? Just pretty much top it off. Didn't even bother scraping the front. That's why it's so dirty up front. So, just a quick note to catch up a little bit. A bit of a rundown. Um, last, the last video I posted up is of the um, copper band butterfly fish. Unfortunately, he perished. Uh, he lasted a good 2.5 to 3 months. At first I had trouble getting him to feed. But then once I started feeding the black worm, he was eating like a pig. Uh, everything, everything was well. He was getting along well with everybody and stuff. And then I went on vacation for like a week. Now, um, I've been on vacation before for like maybe 3-4 days and it seems fine. So I assume that he, found, he can find enough, enough food in the tank to last him. But apparently a week is just too much. So, sorry little guy. Um, the yellow washman gobies, the pair still doing great, and I think they have like a probably like a huge maze of beneath all these sand already. The pistol shrimp pretty much doubled up in size, and I still him clicking like every night. Oh, some good news. The clowns, after years, I think the, I have the female clown for what, seven years now? The male probably like three or four years. They finally spawned. Uh, this is probably the fourth clutch. I can't see anything here, but um, it's pretty neat. The male will routinely go down there and just fan the rock. Let's see if he does it here. No, it's not. But yeah, um, of course, uh, they were never successful because you have to pull the lava out and do green water or whatnot. And with the tank in this shape, <laughs> you can see like you can tell how much time I have, and that's just not gonna happen. But it's great. This is like another step for them. Finally, the spawning. The rose anatomy got huge. I say probably grew one third the original size. And I haven't been feeding them at all. All, all they've been getting is just the sunlight. So I have two little guys here. One big dude and the little one on the side. The frog spawn also got big. Like this. I think it's now probably the original size before I split them up into two parts and separated them out. So it's almost time to frag them again. The clam, the mantle was folded like that because I kind of moved it a little bit before I started filming just to see what, what size it is now. It got bigger, definitely. Um, neon green toaster in the back got a little bit bigger, not 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 too big of a change. I'm not sure if you can see the white toaster in the back. That was actually a hitchhiker. It was probably the size of a nickel before, and now after five months, it's, it's pretty big, almost the same size as the neon green toaster. Oh yeah, by the way, you can see all the algae here. I got an explosion of these micro starfish, probably because there's so much algae up front now, and they're just like um, keeping up with the nutrient. Which is good. I mean, it's not the coral eating type, so I don't mind them at all. They actually look kind of cool. People will come visit and be like, hey, are those starfish? See? Yeah, sorry, it's kind of nasty back here. One bad thing though is like, I got an explosion of the Majano anatomy. At first I had like maybe one or two. And I thought, oh, you know, they look kind of cute, kind of colorful with the pink tip, you know? So I kind of left them. And they just kind of exploded. I think maybe two or three months ago, I tried to um, eradicate them by using Joe's juice or like a kelp mix. Yeah, the other coral did not respond too well with them, so I just kind of left them. I mean, I mostly have um, soft corals or like LPS, and they're kind of hardy anyway, so it's all right. Actually, that's also one of the reasons why I got the copper band butterfly fish, because rumor has it that sometimes I eat these kind of anemones. Yeah, I never touch them. But anyways, that's the tank right now. Presentation-wise, it's in pretty terrible shape. But um, health-wise, look pretty healthy. So hopefully once I get a chance, maybe in a couple days, I can like scrape up the side and just organize things a little bit. And maybe go away for a couple months again. All right, talk to you guys.